so my last video left off with us leaving starfield coex mall and then going to see lotte tower but before that we did some shopping so here's just like a little underground shopping area and usually the items here are a little more cheaper but what me and jiang did was look around at the interesting english shirts so i ended up buying my brother a shirt here but then after that we went into the main latte world mall and it was humongous and there was a lot of people there but we kind of just looked around okay so then we got hungry so we stopped by this famous Sogumbang cafe bakery and Sogumbang is basically just salt bread and it was really yummy it kind of reminded me of a croissant but then after that we were fueled up and ready to go up the tallest tower in Seoul we're going to the uh, Malte tower the highest point in Seoul So once we made it all the way up, the view was literally insane. You could see all of Seoul and Jiang was pointing out all the different locations. But the most scary part was the section where there was glass on the floor. Well, not glass, but you could see through the floor. And mind you, we were like 128 floors above the ground, so it was pretty scary. So basically, we just looked around and took a lot of photos. The tower also had like a souvenir shop as well as a coffee shop where we sat at and kind of just enjoyed the view. We finally came down from the tower <laughs> and now we're going to Simzerbong. My first time going. We're still at the gym, but we got Tongatsu to eat. And we're at the cool little table. What were you gonna say? It was a wise decision that we decided to share. Imagine one person eating all this. Right?
We finished the ginger bomb. 10 out of 10. I know. Now we're just in the Shinsegae mall. Tihi. We're gonna go to Hanga. Yeah. And right now we're on a double decker bus. And I've never been on one. And we're on the second floor. go we're gonna get some ice cream I think I vlogged about this before maybe not but there's no one that works here and you just grab your ice cream I got a cherry cream one Siyoung didn't get any ice cream well What's going on? It's already been like that for me like all day. Five coffee, like, cafe, and then a me americano, <laughs> and then suddenly so the salt, so salt bread, bread, salt bread, and, and then some donkas, and then red bean bun. Whoa, whoa, whoa! But I should do a what I eat in a day because it's just really crazy <laughs> the stuff I put in my body while I'm here. We're at the river. I'm gonna let you guys guess in the comments how many steps I took today because I took a lot of steps today literally the tower we were at is over there we're literally hopping all over the city I wonder if you can see it there's the tower wait we were at and now we're here oh my lord okay here's the Hangang Kongwan down there is the river um it's kind of cute. There's a boat. Someone's singing. Bosking, bosking. This is good background music for my vlog. I don't have to put music in it now. Hello everybody, it is Sunday, the last day, yeah. not, yay, I'm oh, sorry, what do you say? <laughs> I said it's the last day, what oh, you sorry, say? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> but we just have two things to do today, the first one is Gwangjang Sujong and the second is um, Gyeongbokgung, the palace, the palace, Can you explain uh, what this is? This is pindetto, which is made out of bean. It's a type of dun. Yeah. And if you watch my first video, me and Dion made pa dun. I meant kimchi dun. You should watch that video. Yes. At a certain time, they change to different her people. So after the entrance performance, we walked through the main gate and we started to look around. Now before I came here, I thought that the palace was just one building, but it was actually like a little village. 
so there was a lot to walk around and look at. So this is where the king sat. This can be considered, I guess, the main palace area. And then we walked around just to look at the other buildings. There was a cute little lake here. And then we also got to go inside one of the small buildings. And I think this was just like a traditional Korean house from back then. I really enjoyed the palace, but it was honestly really hot this day. So I remember Jiang and I just looking around really quickly and then we headed out. We finished walking around. Now we're at a nearby coffee shop. I got Americano. Oh, made a little ice cream. So the palace was actually our last thing on our Seoul itinerary, but I had a few more hours before my train to go back to Busan. So we decided to do one more thing, which was to look around in Sadong which is just like another tourist attraction where people can buy gifts. And also there's a lot of traditional souvenirs there. So I was looking for more souvenirs to get back to my family and friends here. But yeah, this basically wraps up my Seoul weekend trip. Um, after this, we just headed back to Seoul station where I caught my KTX train back to Busan. And yeah, I'm honestly so thankful for Jiang. She did really well just showing me around Seoul for the first time. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, look out for my next videos because um, although I left Seoul, I am still studying in Busan, South Korea, and I have a few videos planned for that. But other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.